Hi everybody. I just wanted to go uh, put this up as soon as I can, so bear with me. It's going to be really a rough video. I um, went to Michael's this morning. Yes, they were having their clearance, their uh, um, mystery box. So I wanted to find out what I got live with you. Well, not live, but you know what I mean. Um, this is the first time I've ever done mystery boxes uh, from there. I did go last night to see what is in their clearance section so I can have a little idea. But quite honestly, the store's been shut for so long, I really didn't know what to expect. All I know is that I'm going to probably have lots of, yes, lots of plastic eggs and um, grass. Oh, but this is cool grass. This I can use. I can use this for other things. This is a, a pearlescent or whatever you want to call it. And I also got some of the paper stuff. Well, that's good because those are the kind I can actually use. My thoughts were I would like to take these boxes and um, just using mostly the items in the box make a, make a project of some nature. Of course, this all looks super, super springy. Okay. I didn't do so good at picking my boxes, I guess. But, um, there's quite a bit of stuff in here. Oh, this is kind of cute. The squeaky towel. My kitty probably would like that. I didn't know this in itself was eight bucks. <laughs> Normal price. Um, oh my gosh, she sticks his tongue out. What, did you see that? Oh, my kitty likes it. Yeah, he's not sure of it. Right up. I'll sit down on the floor and see if he plays with it. Meanwhile, sorry, I should have put the camera on him. Oh, this is cute little Easter egg ribbon. Um, hide my face so I focus on here a little bit. Oh, I get my lot of reflection. Um, oh, shh. of course. So I'll wear these all the time. Um, oh. Unicorn uh, color whip. Color with food safe foam. Um, hey, I'll keep that for next year. I've not used this kind before, so that looks very tie dye ish. I actually used to take, I used to buy these all up after Easter and use them to dye my yarn. Um, because I, I do, um, I spin yarn and I would use food safe dyes so that it would, uh, be able to be more safe for like babies because a lot of the dyes are toxic. Mini putty? Interesting. Um, so it's just kind of like a little play putty, not play doh, but like a little putty that you can do. Oh, oh that's definitely a garage sale item. Uh, <laughs> so I got the ears. Now let's have the glasses. So yeah, this box is pretty much all Easter stuff, so it's going to either go in the garage sale or it's going to go in uh, for next year. There's not too many craft items in it. Sublime. <laughs> um, oh, I was actually looking at these in another store, those little walking chicks. Uh, you know, money, monetary-wise, there is there is quite a bit of money's worth in here, but... I was just hoping it would be more craft than, than Easter. Oh, this is a surprise egg. Sounds like there's a toy or something inside there. Um, okay, baskets. Can always use baskets. I don't care if they're Easter. These are cute little plastic baskets. I can use them for school. I actually just, I actually did some penny shopping the other day. Got a whole bunch of little baskets. Um, then they're all in pastel color, so I guess I do my classroom in pastels this year. Put that back there. Um, is, ah, stretchy carrots! Sensory! Oh, great! This will be excellent for my classroom. This is a squeezy carrot, and um, it's, it's a, like a sensory tool, uh, so that will definitely come in handy. That for sure will go to the school. Aww, little fold up Easter eggs and bunnies, table decorations. That's cute. I actually really like that. I'll use that for Easter next year myself. 
And we've got some of these kind of Easter baskets. This is the kind I remember as a kid. Um, we use these kind, so this is kind of nostalgic for me. But um, I'm going to come up with a way to use these in a craft. I'll probably paint them. Yeah, they probably won't stay these, uh, these kind of colors. Uh, oh, these always come in handy. Baking cups, even though they say Happy Easter on them. When you have a craving for cupcakes, you have a craving for cupcakes. What can I say? Uh, let's see. Um, this one is oh, glittery putty. We got lots of putty in this box. And another pair of sunglasses. You can see if I can have my kitty cat wear those, huh? That's what you're hearing in the background, by the way. He's running all over the place in here. I don't know what he's doing. Oh, and I love these little baskets. Yes, I can definitely do something with these little baskets like this. And then, um, <laughs> a little chicky. I use these for felting. Um, the metal ones are really good for felting because you don't prick yourself as easily. So maybe I'll make, maybe I'll use this to make a little, a little ducky. So that was the box. So the box is about this size. It's not super big like some of the other stores. Uh, but I do have one more. And this one, I felt some things in it. And I felt a wooden basket, which is why I got this. Now, I know there's going to be more freaking Easter eggs. But, by the way, the grab bags this year are five bucks. So keep that in mind. They used to be four, but they're five now. And these glasses are starting to bug me. Um, oh, well, forget it. I don't need to keep this all nice and clean. Ooh, these are kind of cool. These are speckled eggs. Um, there's lots of things you can do with these little eggs. I mean, a lot of people use them to make, like, um, wreaths and things. I tend to make, use them to make Morocco 